I had LPR, sometimes called silent reflux, on and off for years, and it was such a mystery. Here's my story and how I finally got rid of reflux for good. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified every time I post a new video about gut health and reflux solutions. So just a quick intro, I'm Margaret, I'm a registered nurse and a nutritional therapy practitioner. I've always been interested in nutrition, but learning all about reflux was never something I planned on doing. It was never something I was really interested in until I mysteriously suffered from LPR as an otherwise generally healthy person. All these symptoms mysteriously showed up seemingly out of nowhere in my late 20s. I had a chronic cough, especially at night, um, sore throat. I felt like there was something stuck in my throat, like I couldn't swallow even though I could. I would have ear pain, post nasal drip, sometimes be short of breath, sometimes chest pain, sometimes abdominal pain, but mostly it was all centered around my throat and pain there. Uh, the first couple doctors that I saw said that it must be allergies. There's no way I could have reflux because I was too young and healthy for that. I didn't fit any of the risk factors. But I had done a lot of online research and even though it didn't make sense to me, I didn't know how, it really fit the description of this laryngopharyngeal reflux or silent reflux. When I pressed that I really thought it was reflux and wanted to understand what was causing it, I was told that I couldn't get a referral to a specialist unless I took the acid reducing medication that the doctor prescribed. I already knew that reducing stomach acid was not the answer I was looking for, so I tried special diets like GAPS and low FODMAP. I met with integrative doctors and naturopathic doctors. I did a lot of GI tests, testing for bacterial overgrowths, infections, leaky gut, all sorts of things like that. And I did get some insight into what could be causing the problems. But the thing was, everything I tried was always temporary. When things weren't going according to plan, I was right back at the doctors getting more tests, new recommendations, and it got pretty terrible sometimes. I couldn't exercise, going to work was incredibly challenging, and I couldn't even read bedtime stories to my kids because the pain was so bad that I could hardly speak. Already a nurse myself, I decided to enroll in a program to become certified as a nutritional therapy practitioner. I did a lot of reading, studying, and I continued to learn mostly by trial and error. Speaking of trial and error, let me know in the comments below what elimination diets or special gut healing diets you've tried to get rid of LPR and did they work for you? So this is what finally worked for me. I took more of a whole body approach considering how everything in our bodies work together. The first thing I did was stopped going so aggressively at everything. If you've ever been on any gut healing protocol, you probably know how intense these plans can be. The elimination diets combined with antimicrobials affected my whole body, not just my gut. And it left me feeling more fatigued and worse than ever. I wasn't eating enough food, my brain fog got worse, and I could barely get through a shift at work. So I started eating more intuitively. I focused on balancing my blood sugar. I stopped cutting out entire food groups like most of the elimination or healing diets called for. Um, I did initially avoid some triggers, which at one point was pretty much every single food that I ate. I incorporated a lot of healing foods like chlorella, aloe vera, chia seeds, collagen, dandelion root, all of this helped with the pain and inflammation that I was feeling in my throat. Probably one of the most effective things I did was improve my digestion overall. As my digestion got better, my LPR symptoms decreased significantly. Sometimes this was as easy as not eating while rushed or not eating while distracted um, or just taking a few deep breaths before I ate. Other things are supporting digestive organs with foods like beets, radishes, and digestive bitters. Uh, there's a lot more to say about digestion, so I will put the link in the description below for my quick start digestion and reflux guide, and there's a lot of information in there about what I did. Another big thing for me was balancing gut bacteria. One of the things contributing to my reflux was SIBO, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So I used a combination of mild natural antimicrobials, probiotics, and things that help improve your GI motility, that helped balance gut bacteria. Things like uh, ginger, turmeric, uh, vitamin B, those were big ones. Finally, I addressed nervous system function. If you've ever heard of the gut-brain axis or the gut-brain connection, then you know that there's a lot of communication that goes on between the brain and the gut. 
Some of the things I did to support good nervous system health were getting out into the sunlight first thing in the morning, even if just for five to 10 minutes, um, getting good sleep and getting enough sleep, which I cannot emphasize enough. Um, sometimes I would use magnesium lotion on my feet at night or occasionally melatonin to force myself to get to sleep earlier. This made a huge difference. Um, I also added in vitamin B and I increased the omega-3s in my diet, especially by adding in more fatty fish. So by doing these things, my LPR symptoms gradually decreased until they were gone. I did have flare-ups occasionally, but when it happened, I knew what to do and I could get rid of it so much faster than before. And over time, these flare-ups happened less and less frequently. Does this mean that I've never once gotten a sore throat from reflux since then? No, unfortunately not. Health does need to be maintained, not just achieved once and then forgotten. But the difference is now it happens so rarely, the symptoms are so mild and it lasts maybe a couple of hours. Before, it used to last weeks to months with seemingly no end in sight. If you also have reflux and you're not sure where to start, I'd say that improving your digestion is probably the best and easiest way to get started. And if you don't know how to do that, download my free quick start guide to digestion and reflux. It's full of information and quick, simple action steps that you can start taking right away. And if you wanna know more about how gut imbalances like SIBO can lead to reflux or contribute to it, check out this video I made about the connection between SIBO and LPR.